quiet neighborhood gets louder when a burglar tries to take off with a leaf blower that doesn't belong to him. Well, that leads to a team effort to take him down and then a police chase. Jermont Terry is live in Livonia tonight with how this all happened, Jermont. Kimberly, that driver led police on an 85 mile per hour chase right down five mile here. But before running from cops, he first ran out of a neighborhood and that failed burglary where neighbors literally put him in a headlock. Kimberly Oaks subdivision in Livonia is usually quiet. Try to keep your garages open. But Joe Williams isn't leaving his garage open after a thief ripped off his leaf blower. Came around the corner and uh, he just lifted it right out of the garage and took it right over to his car. This all went down while Joe sat in his garage. This homeowner did not stand by and watch. I got up and chased him to the car. And uh, by then he was in the car. And uh, I, I reached in the car, pushed him to the side, and grabbed the keys out of the ignition. Unable to drive off, the thief tried to exchange his keys for Joe's gas blower. So he set the blower down, and I just I turned around and launched the keys down the street. Joe's neighbor saw the commotion. So I tried to refrain the guy, you know, tried to get him in a bear hug in the back, and then a choke called. And but the thief used those keys to get away. He was poking with the key just because I had him in a headlock. The thief and the woman drove off in the red car. Minutes later, police spotted that car in the parking lot. That's when the woman jumped out. The driver took off leading police on an 85 mile per hour chase from Farmington to Levan on five mile before officers ended the chase. That they've seen him through the neighborhood before. And now, it is believed that that same red, older model Mazda may have been casing out neighborhoods for some days. Of course, police ended the chase, so the driver got away. We should point out the woman that was dropped off in this parking lot here, she was arrested. However, according to police, she's not given much information about the driver that was she was riding with. Of course, if you know anything or police just tell homeowners to really keep their eye open for that red Mazda that has some damage on the front end. Now reporting live in Livonia, Jermont Terry, Local 4.